let's officially start our debate being a boss or being an employee think of myself right after graduation i was just i didn't really know much yeah i, I grew up in a smaller town in the central poland and then moved to a bigger town as most people in poland do so i didn't have any real connections and this is what being an employee really gives you it it gives you the connections you might need it gives you the experience you can learn from the more experienced people for fresh graduates i think safest bet is just to work for another company and learn as much as you can uh, make a good impression you know it will just be a great for, thing for you in the future uh, when you're talking about having just graduated you really want to be optimizing for learning and being heading up a startup and touching on all of these different fields is really what is going to accelerate your learning at the fastest possible pace, right? The last thing is that if you play your cards right, the downside is actually low and the upside okay, uh, is enormous. I would like to say working for someone else is a great opportunity to learn first, work for someone else, earn first, and then decide who you really are and then maybe start your own business or maybe work for other companies. Just try. I would like to also look at, you know, the, the, the past couple of years. So I, I graduated not that not that long ago. The coronavirus situation really hit the job market by, by then. And unfortunately, I know many people with smaller businesses who they were completely shut down with no means of recovery, really. Uh, being an employee in, uh, in times of, well, in such turbulent times as, as we have now, it, it is a bit safer, I think, still. It, of course, depending on the company, but a bit safer. <laughs> I would also challenge the notion that working in a big company is safe, you know? Um, you're not, you know, necessarily going to be treated well in a company just because it exists, you know, and there's also been many companies in the last several years that have gone under because of pressures related to the coronavirus pandemic, as you mentioned. I think if you're okay with a certain level of risk, you know, you don't necessarily have to become the boss of a 500 person multinational, but you can become the boss of something small and exciting and something that's truly yours. And I think that can be very exciting.